sausage for 20 bucks, it's worth it. Daddy Anti. What's up, everyone? Thursday night is upon us. That means Daddy yeah, at Night is on the air. Big Sean Kramer's wheels with a Z and a with guy. With a Z, baby. And a guy who's looking to make a name for himself finally here in Daddy Yeah Pro in one Jay Roca. Jay Brown, Jay Brown. Get it right, Kramer. It's, you call yourself a journalist. Well, actually, I do agree with that term. You are a journalist, a bad one at that. Well, Everybody that watches this show would undoubtedly disagree with that idiotic statement, but a guy that is uh, somebody that's got to be watched, and of course somebody that's on the rise everywhere he goes, is the Prince of Buffalo himself, Isaiah Prince. And uh, this new uh, this newfound friendship with Mr. Fancy is interesting to say the least. Do you call it a friendship? I mean, they, they had one match together, Cray Myers. One match. They, I mean, hanging out with somebody one time does not make you a friend. I don't know. It seemed like they were very friendly by the end of that. And, you know, look at Isaiah Prince. We typically do not see this man smile. He's all smiles, and it seems like he's got a little bit of support behind him as well. Oh, of course. I, I mean, he's taking on Jay bro He would... You'd be smiling ear from ear too if you had to his name is take Jay him Roca. on. Let's do, let's do, we'll say it slowly. His name is Jay Roca. Jay Brone. You're an idiot. Jay Brony. The sponsor for this opening contest, of course, as it is each and every week, the best slice in Buffalo, New York, Carbone's Pizza. And Jay Roca thrown down yeah, the See, canvas. you were about to say it. I was, yeah, you were about I was, to say it, Kramer. I'm not going to do that because I'm a journalist and I say the right stuff, unlike this guy sitting next to me. But right now. I'll cut it out. Wheels, if Jay Roca wants to have any opportunity to get anywhere in this contest, he's got to keep a distance from Isaiah Prince at all times. There's Absolutely. a massive power advantage that cannot be ignored. Oh, big time. I mean, he, he's definitely got to use a, his speed as an advantage during this match, and hopefully Karen can give him some favored calls his way. Hey, I wouldn't put it faster, but did you just see the look on Jay Roca's face as he was down in the corner? That's a look of utter and pure fear. And I can't say I blame him at this point. Roca on the move, trying to stay away. Oh, oh that's the end of the run, huh? Sending Jay Brown right to the mat with the big time chop by the Prince of Buffalo. Oh no, this is not gonna get any better for Roca. Here we go, watch this. Beating on his chest oh, like a goodness. drum. Literally like a snare drum. Beating that living hell out of Jay Roca here on Thursday night is oh. the Prince of Buffalo. Hey, Wait a minute. Caught it though. Jay Roca being resourceful and using every part of the ring, breaking free. Let's see if he can use this as an opportunity to get some offense in here. He's got to do it quick. I mean, Isaiah Prince is no slump here. Absolutely not. No slouch, rather. Roca doing what he's got to do with some forearm shots. Nice knife edge chop there delivered by Jay Roca. On the move right now. Head to the corner goes Prince. Hammering away once again is Jay Roca. With some chops of his own. Yeah, he's on fire right now. Let's see. You heard that one? Oh, my goodness. And no Prince, now he's pissed. No effect. That's Isaiah what's Prince happening. Is pissed, Wheels. This is going to be bad. No oh. effect at all. Oh, to no. The Prince of Buffalo. My goodness. Oh, jeez. Roca's chest is turning bright red already. That's got to be it. My goodness, Roca getting out. Got to do what he's got to do. I'd run to the back if I was this kid right now. Of course you would. You're a coward. Referee Karen stepping in the middle, telling Isaiah Prince he's got to five count only. And Roca here trying to stay alive. Big back elbow shot to the back of the head, Isaiah Prince. Oh, and down with the arm breaker. Roca starting to string them together right now. This may be the best we've seen him look thus far. Big opportunity. Here we go. Nearly three wheels. That was the very first near fall of Jay Roca's career right there. Almost beating Isaiah Prince. Can he put it away? Mark it down. Swinging away right now. I mean, I've seen crazier things happen in the professional sports. Roca definitely has a chance here. And right now, this is it. Let's see. Big tornado DDT attempt. And he got it. Isaiah Prince trying to stop it, but could not hook in a leg. Two. Just two. May have got not all of it though. Popping oh. up is Isaiah Prince at two. Let's take a look again. Yeah, beautiful cross arm breaker delivered by Jay Roca. And that was the start of all this offense for Roca. Yeah, he's, he's gotten quite a roll right here. Hammering away still. 
old school, just shot after shot right to the dome piece of Isaiah Prince. Oh, wait a minute, watch out! Oh, big boot! Straight to the center of the chest. Wilcott just lost all of his wind. Off the ropes. Oh, like oh. a damn freight train! Big time shoulder charge by Isaiah Prince. Got him set, wait a minute. Roka spent. Yeah, he is just dead weight at this point. There was no fight whatsoever in Isaiah Prince. Referee Karen better step in real soon. Down oh. he goes. Second shot, twice the violence. This has to be it, but Prince not done yet. Big senton oh. splash. Look at the leg, this is it, count to 10. No, what? where did Jay Roka find that wheel? I don't know, that, I'm, I'm asking the same thing to myself. I mean, I am surprised that he has any life left in him after the beating he has taken during this match by Isaiah Prince. Are we gonna see the miracle on victory? I mean, this is the way to do it, right? Absolutely. I feel real good about this right now. Jay Roka somehow still alive after taking a beating of a lifetime. Oh, big boot, no one home. Roka once again, head of steam. Oh, oh. no. Crash and burn. Two and three. Massive clothesline is enough to put away Jay Roka, but my goodness, what an effort from this young man. A for effort, for sure. But he's in the loser column once again this week. Hey. As long as he keeps plugging along, I'm telling you, man, things are going to start to go well for this kid. But right now, Isaiah Prince, the man for the night. Big victory. And he strings him up pretty regularly. Absolutely. Watch this right here. That boot not successful. And Roka thought he had it. But Prince thought otherwise. Bam! Oh. That's enough to destroy anyone. Got two more matches coming up for you. Stay tuned. Pay for my following. In Buffalo, there's only one pizza that matters. Car, bones, sweet, soft. Come get some of that hot, flavorful, greasy pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, that sauce that tingles the back of your tongue for an enjoyable time. Car, Bones, the corner of Hamburg Street in South Park Avenue. Hey, see this? Join the movement. Daddy F, and back when we trust. All right, and we're back, rolling on with the action here on Daddy Yeah at night. The torture artist, Damon Resnick, in the house, and I'm sure with demented thoughts, huh, Wheels? Of course. I mean, he's the torture artist. I mean, come on, Kramars. The past few weeks, though, have been real tough for him, not only mentally, but physically, taking on the Daddy Yeah champion, the dark horse, Anthony Musso, coming up just short of becoming the new Daddy Yeah heavyweight champ, too. Yeah, he, he definitely did, and I gained a lot of respect for one Damon Resnick over these last few weeks. I'll tell you what, the determination and moxie of this man unbelievable off the charts no doubt about it but speaking of uh, off the charts here comes Mr. Fancy and I'll tell you what the charisma for this young man is off the charts now, he is a fan favorite no doubt about it can't take that away from him and the success he's been having inside that squared circle you can't take away either yeah anybody could make an argument that Mr. Fancy is the fastest rising star within the ranks of Daddy yeah, Pro and it would be a pretty decent argument he's picked up some big wins and he's uh, had some huge matches in the short time that he's been here and he's looking to continue to move his way up the ranks and a win over Damon Resnick would definitely help in that sort of way 
Oh, it sure would, no doubt about it. But if Damon Resnick has anything to say about it, he's going to stop him dead in the tracks tonight, right here, right now. Absolutely. It's Damon Resnick's favorite time. That's Thursday night. That's when he gets to apply pain. Without pay, pain. without Right, without having to pay for it. Yeah, free pain. It's, you consider Damon Resnick an attendee of the event every single time. And I hope Mr. Fancy is prepared for the twisted nature and the demented ways of this tortured soul known as the torture artist. Absolutely. You know, I've been saying this for weeks, too. It's hard to prepare for a guy quite like the torture artist Damon Resnick. I mean, he is just a loose cannon, and he you never know what you're going to get week after week when he's in that squared circle. No, it can't be predicted whatsoever, and Mr. Fancy, I'm sure, is aware of that right now. Fancy's got it all set, got Resnick locked in a headlock here, maintaining control. Fancy's got to get some separation and use that speed, and there it is right there. Look at that athleticism landing right on his feet with no effort whatsoever. Swing and a miss by Resnick. I know, I know Resnick loves to play his psychological games with his opponent, but he has to watch falling into the trap of Mr. Fancy's games. I'll tell you what, Wheels, watch that right there. Mr. I'll tell you what, Mr. Fancy, he's already fallen into the trap, has Damon Resnick. Mr. Fancy on absolute fire. Yeah, he is reeling. Grabbing a hold once again. Oh, and Resnick, great awareness, felt the hand and was able to weasel free, and now... This is where the tide turns wheels. Oh, absolutely. This is where you're going to see Damon Resnick wrestle his type of match. Yeah, ground and pound and uh, inflict as much pain as you can on whichever joint you're able to get a hold of. And watch this. That's a prime example right there. The shoulder joint not meant to bend in that sort of fashion at all. Let's see if our official Karen is on top of this. Will Mr. Fancy hang on? If he was smart, he'd tap out right now. Live to fight another day, Kramars. I don't think Mr. Fancy's going to do that, as you can see. Rolling through, and Mr. Fancy, quick cover, only good for one. If that. Resnick right back to that shoulder. Precision strikes delivered here by the torture artist. Oh. Once again. And you can see the extra torque on the neck, separating that shoulder from the body more than it should be. Right, the neck, the arm, the shoulder. Take a look at the skin on Mr. Fancy's arm in between the shoulder and the bicep. It's all wrinkled, and that means it's bent. It's bent in a place it's not supposed to be, and you can see the damage being done pretty rapidly here by Damon Resnick. Mr. Fancy trying to fight back right now to prevent any more, but Resnick. Wait a second. Out of steam. Oh, victory oh, roll. What a pin. That's it. That's it. Just two. So close for Resnick here. This Nobody is, home. Wait this a minute. Is, this is a man who needs to pick up a victory, too. Talking about victories. Yeah, a, big, a, run, a win for Resnick is definitely necessary at this point. He's another one of those people that have had great efforts recently, but just fall short. Just two on the verge of falling short just once more was Resnick. Not going to let that happen, though. Off the ropes he goes. Oh, into a stunner. Folding up Mr. Fancy. Resnick loving every bit of it, too. See that smirk on his face? Going to go for a cover right here. Could this be the end? Not yet. Still just two. And once again, Damon Resnick doing the best he can to keep the pace of this contest at a snail's pace which benefits him each and every day of the week, Wheels. Oh, no doubt about it. He loves to inflict pain on his opponent and do it slowly. Oh. Take a little look at this right here from Damon Resnick. Hitting the ropes. Impressive agility there on the stunner, and that was the start of the turnaround that we're seeing right before our eyes. Special thanks to Genesis Gaming and Hobby for sponsoring the replay for tonight's episode of Daddy Ad Night. And if you'd like to see your business featured in this spot and be seen by all of the wrestling world, contact our Facebook page, Reasonable Rates, and be on the spotlight here on the best wrestling program on Thursday nights. That's Daddy Ad Night. Damon Resnick. Mr. Fancy's in trouble right now. Resnick could be putting this thing away any moment here. Let's see. Fancy fighting back. Hitting him with the rights and left, left, left. 
Yeah, Fancy getting fired up right now, and that's just what he has to do. Got him set. Nope, Resnick saying no. Shot to the midsection from Resnick. Oh, big uppercut sent Fancy down. Karen checking on Mr. Fancy right here to make sure he's still with it. Resnick is one move away from putting Fancy out of his misery. I'll tell you what, Wheels, you're right. And he's been one move away for a good few minutes, but Fancy right now. Oh, look at Whoa. that. Straight out of the Matrix. Or shall we say the Fancy verse? Big drop kick. And I'll tell you what, the short time we've seen Mr. Fancy, I don't know that there's a better drop kick in Daddy App Pro. Smooth like butter, Kramars. Absolutely. Something you know a lot about. Yeah, that's my middle name. Butters? No, smooth. Oh. <laughs> How did I know you'd say that? Wait a minute. Oh, Look at the no. power of Damon Resnick. Down goes Fancy. Hanging Magical him out delay. the dry. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Just two. And as you're seeing on these counts from our official Karen, they're getting closer and closer to being three. Mr. Fancy's got to be running on fumes right now, and Resnick has to take advantage. Resnick got Fancy down and in the prone position. What's he got planned? Is now a good time to take a risk, Wheels? You got to let it all out there, Kramars. Well, looks like Damon Resnick's going to do just that, taking a risk up to the second rope. Good night. Oh, and Fancy with another one of those drop kicks. Resnick took way too long, Wheels. Yeah, he was chirping back at the fans over there, clapping their hands. He, he hates the disrespect he receives every week by them. Yeah, and it's become a regular thing for sure. But let's see. All fancy. Down he goes! Wow! Spiked right on the top of his head is Resnick down. Yeah, that one goes right to the front of the highlight reel. What stuff we're seeing for Mr. Fancy here on this Thursday night edition of Daddy Yeah at Night. And folks, we are live each and every Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from right here at oh. Grapplers Anonymous, the premier wrestling school maybe in the Could world. Could that do it? Could it do it? Oh, and it does. It does. Mr. Fancy picking up the big time W first time on Thursday night, Daddy at Night too. Oh, uh, Mr. Fancy's been on Daddy yeah, at night before, but this is his first big win. Wrestling to a time limit draw previously in a contest with Mikey every night. Right, big time W. Absolutely. I'm gonna go have a word with him, actually. And you saw that shot was enough to put away Damon Resnick, and uh, folks, please stick around. I promise that word from Wheels will be short. No, it's gonna be great. You know how I do. Main event coming up next. Stay tuned. Daddy yeah. Grapplers Anonymous so special is it's a great team environment. I come here and I'm able to deal with people from all different walks of life, people who necessarily wouldn't be friends in normal life, but it's everybody who has one common bond and one common goal to be able to be um, great professional wrestlers. And I think that's what this gym provides. It's a, we have a culture here of hard work and a culture of inspiring each other, a culture of supporting each other, to where when you come here, you can instantly feel that. If you're a new guy coming into the gym, I feel like you can feel the brotherhood, you can feel the team environment right when you walk in. And then if you are um, making a decision to stay and you keep training, you eventually get integrated into that, and then the team just keeps building and growing. 
with all different kinds of people from all different walks of life. I think that's really what makes this trip special. That's with the Z with Daddy App Productions with your post-match interview. I'm here with your winner, Mr. Fancy. Mr. Fancy, how are you feeling becoming the winner against Damon Resnick, torture artist? He, put, he is a torture artist. He sure put me through the ringer. But he is no match for the fancy experience. And I'm the coolest cat around. That's why I wear the ears. Well, I got one more question. How do you feel about the dark horse, Anthony Musso, coming in after the match? Uh, yeah, um... I don't know what to think about that, but honestly... Let me tell you exactly what you can think about that, Mr. Fancy. So you've been the talk around town since you got here. The coolest cat. But I'm the champion. Mm -hmm. So when I beat you, everyone's going to be talking about me. we got a big show coming up. Mm -hmm. I'll be ready for this, because you can't have it. Hey guys, this is Wheels, that's with a Z with Daddy App Production with your post-match interview. I'm here with the torture artist, Damon Resnick. Damon, you just took on Mr. Fancy and came up empty-handed. How are you feeling about that loss? Listen for a second. Musso, if I see your face again, that title is going to be wrapped around your neck. As for Mr. Fancy, you've walked into a bear trap, and you'll never walk away unscathed. I will be the thorn in your side. I will be the rock in your shoe. I will be the ghost that follows you everywhere you go, so you better never turn your back on me again, because I promise, brother, you're not going to wake up next time you do. What's up, Danny A Nation? This is the big man, Jeremiah Richter. <laughs> I got a deal for you. This nice Danny A t-shirt for only $20. Buy one today or take a size 14 boot to the face. Danny A. What's up, everyone? We're back. Dulce Panapinto, attorneys at law, main event time here on Daddy Yeah at night. And in the house right now are the Bebop and Rocksteady of professional wrestling, these utter monsters known as the Nachi Mafia. That's right. They brought the sauce tonight, too. I, Man, is it good, I like it Kramers. Talking about Man. The sauce, because it's terrible. I've tried it. Everyone in this building tonight has tried it. No, no, no. And they Cut all it out. It's exclusive. To the bathroom, it's multiple trips to the bathroom because that stuff is gross. But here's a man that I like seeing do bad things to the Nachi Mafia. The feud, the problems over these past few months rekindled tonight with a new guest in Bud Good. And I'll tell you what, we're going mile high with a fight for our main event. We sure are. Look at Bud Good just putting the smoke back into the locker room area. Gotta Can't make bring sure that, that the out. Fire alarm doesn't go off because we do not need the officials coming here and making sure that things are safe because there's a lot of banging going on here. It's main event time. Are you ready, Wheels? I am ready. Let's do it. Jeremiah Richter, here we go. The this dominant force, too. Yeah. I mean, they, they, Frank Nachi and Jeremiah R Richter. You're, you're right. I know we were going with this. Frank Nachi and Jeremiah Richter, or Frank Nachi and Dan Nachi, they've got problems with Richter, and I'll tell you what, Richter continues to get the best of them, joining up with the ring marshals to get the big win. Yeah. The proving ground. Yeah, not only that, uh, Frank Nachi and, and Jeremiah Richter, they, they wrestled one another to get the title of the dominant force, and, and Jeremiah Richter got the better of Frank Nachi that night, and it was unfortunate because I still consider Frank Nachi the dominant force of Daddy uh, Productions. Well, at this point, Jeremiah Richter has proven that he is not the dominant force, but he is certainly a dominant force here in Daddy App Pro, as is Dan Nachi. I'll tell you what, these Nachis are impressive, and they impress me no matter how much I dislike their attitudes and the way they conduct themselves here at Grapplers Anonymous. Whether I like it or not, the facts are that Bud Good and Jeremiah Richter have their hands full, but right now, Richter using the strength Pushing Big Dan Nachi into the corner right here. And we get a clean break, of course, because Jeremiah Richter is a man of respect and a man that wants to make sure that things are done properly. I mean, if that wasn't the case, he would not have been accepted as a member of the ring marshals. A little bit of a consultation going on here between Dan and Frank. Official Tiger making sure things are on the up and up. Collar and elbow tie up again, and now Dan Nachi forcing Richter into the corner. 
course we don't get a clean break from Anashi. Why the heck would we ever see that? Big European uppercut to Richter afterwards on the cheap advantage gotten by Big Dan Nachi. Tag to Frank, and here we go. Jeremiah Richter, things are starting to look real bad for him. Crunch in the corner, big uppercut. Oh, man! Had a steam from Dan Nachi, and now Richter. This could be the end. Hook and a leg, only good for one. Staying alive and on his feet is Jeremiah Richter. Wheels, things are uh, off to a real bad start for Richter. Absolutely. I mean, did you think something different was going to happen, Kramer? Use your damn head. It's Frank Nashi, the bebop of professional wrestling, putting a beat down on Jeremiah Richter. Yeah, and that's what we're seeing right before our eyes. Another big European uppercut delivered by Yes, Nashi. please. One more. Yeah, he's May I have what another? For, I guess. May I have another, please? Yeah, Richter's got to get out of this corner as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, no. Yes. Shot after shot from Jeremiah Richter. Now it's time for Richter to get something going. Looking to get a tag. Not quite there, though, for Frank Nachi. Big splash. There's the tag. In comes Bud Good. Oh, no. Got him set. Big sidewalk slam. Watch this. Bud's going to drop that fist. Boogie, woogie, shakedown. There it is. Right to the face. Yeah, a sharp elbow right to the beak of Frank Nachi. Only good for two, though. Man, but can't you just feel the energy coming out of Bud Good and this room right now? No, that's smoke, not energy. Where there's smoke, there is definitely energy in the world of Bud Good. Hammering away. Snapmare nightmare takeover. Let's see. You know what's next. Roll one up and smoke it. Down goes Nachi. But good, should go for the cover. Here it is, hook of the leg. Two, two, Kramars. Still just two, Frank Nachi staying alive. It's gonna take a lot more to hold down big Frank Nachi. And let's see if Bud Good's got what it takes. Oh, look at this. Nachi, great recovery, and here we go. Those barrel shoulders right to the gut of Bud Good. Tags in Dan Nachi. Oh, big right to the jaw and of Nachi Mafia, Bud Good. just a bunch of bullies. It's all fair game, Kramers. I don't want to hear that bully crap. Now Bud Good in a bad way, trapped in the corner. Actually just being sent around the ring in an old rope-a-dope. And down goes Bud Good, the hard way. Hooking a leg here from Nachi. Just two. Real impressive sequence put together there by Dan Nachi. Yeah, Bud Good barely kicking out at two. Let's see. Hard to the corner. Tag back into Big Frank. And these frequent tags are going to be trouble for Bud Good really quickly. Oh. Oh, look back. at that force. The ring moved an inch or two, I think. Man, Bud Good's spine. You don't know where he's at. Look at his eyes rolling in the back of his head. Well, at least he doesn't feel any pain, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As long as his eyes are open, Bud Good's still got a chance, Bud. Yeah, but look, they're not going to be open for long with this choke here by Frank Nachi. Yeah, he's got the five. Calm down, Kramars. I know you're about to say he's trying to cheat, trying to cheat. He has the five. Yeah, using four out of those five, and John Tiger making sure things are on the up and up once again. Here we go. Bud Good, the southpaw. Hammered away with those lefts, but Nachi again. That was not a southpaw, Kramer. That was his right hand, you moron. I don't know what you saw, but I think it was the wrong thing. Oh, oh man! Oh, man, Bud Good's got to be out. His skull, his skull just bounced off that canvas. That's it. Right in the books. No! Kudos to Bud Good for staying alive. Man, that would have put down almost anybody on the roster. And if he knew what, what was good for him, he would have just stayed down. Instead, he's going to receive a beating of a lifetime now. As he continues, powering him over is Dan Nachi. And Bud Good is not a small individual by any stretch of the imagination. With the quickness, Dan Nachi rolling Bud Good in the center of the ring might have cost him the three, though. But that he was smart, though. He had to do it, and he would have just got the ropes. Absolutely. Watch this again. 
I'm surprised. I'm, I'm literally shocked that Bud Good got a shoulder up. Watch this impact right here. This was a turning point. Ridiculous. Oh. But now the end result, as you can see, is Bud Good trapped in that corner once again as the frequent tags from the Nachi Mafia continue. All right, let's see. Oh, look. I think Frank's going to call for it here. Bud Good's body Maybe is not. essentially limp right now. Thought we we're going to see the sauce get stirred here, but clearly the bebop of professional wrestling has other things in mind, and they are violent. Yeah, by the looks of it, Frank Nachi trying to remove every last bit of air from the lungs of Bud Good. Doing a great job of just that, Wheels. And what's up with this referee? He's trying to keep things on the up and up. I've said it like 10 times tonight. Tiger doing a great job of, of officiating here. Up and over goes good. Oh, wait a minute. And down. Oh, no. Massive side suplex from the man from the Mile High City. Exactly what he needed, too. So close to Richter. Is now the time. Frank Nachi also close tag to Dan, and here comes Jeremiah Richter. Slugfest in the center. Two big guys just locking horns in the center of the ring As here. They say wheels, two big meaty men slapping meat here on Thursday night. You love it. Big uppercut from Dan Nachi. Oh. Oh, and Richter waking up. Oh, he's warming up another. That just aggravated Jeremiah Richter. Big clothesline. Oh, ran right into it was Dan Nachi too. One for Frank as well. Oh, but Dan Nachi using the opportunity and the distraction from his brother to get the upper hand once again. Yeah, a clubbing blow to the dominant force, oh, sending him to the ground. Here. Report, oh, oh, into a black hole slam. Jeremiah Richter. Out of nowhere too. Wait a minute, I know what's next. Size 14, watch out, there it is! Oh. Right through the face of Dan Nachi. Up yes. the leg, that's gotta do it, Wheels. Kick out, come on. No! Staying alive is Dan Nachi here. But barely. Tag back into Bud Good. You're gonna see that signature Bulldog right about now, maybe? Oh, wait a minute. Another. Jeez. Oh, That's got to be the one wheels. He's not the legal man. Our official did not see the tag. Look at that black hole slam. No, he did see the tag. Bud Good didn't. That's the problem. Oh, no, no, no. Kicking out is Frank Nachi. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, muscling Bud Good. And again. Oh. Not good for the man's spine. Oh no, Dragon Sleeper locked in. Extra torque, but good gotta it. give it up. What a transition by Frank Nachi. That happened quick as a hiccup, as some would say. Jeez. Oh, there it is. Another big win for the Nachi Mafia. And they needed to recover after Proving Ground, that's for sure. And they did just that right here, Wheels. In dominant fashion, too. I had no doubt, Kramars. I'm gonna go enjoy my Nachi sauce now. Leave me alone. Come catch me next week, Thursday night, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, Facebook Live, YouTube, and Twitch. Yeah, he's going to need a whole seven days to stop the runs from the sauce. We'll see you next week.